Hello FME friends and welcome to this 2025.1 feature demonstration video. In this video I will demonstrate the new document PDF format writer and the associated document PDF styler transformer. Standard 2D and 3D spatial PDF writers have existed in FME for many years. However, both of these formats were intended for map production and not for the production of more common PDF report documents. So in FME 2025.1, a new document PDF writer has been introduced. In tandem with the document PDF Styler Transformer, FME can now generate PDF reports that include headings, lists, tables, images, and properly formatted paragraphs of text. This workspace simply reads park records for the city of Vancouver and writes them to a PDF report. It uses the new document PDF writer and styles the records as a plain list using the document PDF styler transformer. The output is a very simple list of records in a PDF file. However, there are many ways to style and improve this basic report. The author has updated the workspace to put a title at the top of the document. Notice how a simple creator transformer triggers the creation of the title. However, it's important to ensure that the data reaches the writer in the correct order. In this case, the title must arrive before the data records. To achieve this, the records are given a unique ID number with a counter transformer. The title is given a lower ID number with an attribute creator. The data is then sorted with a sorter transformer to ensure it is all in the correct order. Let's see the workspace after the author continued to develop it further. There are now numerous improvements. Let's examine what they do. Firstly, the author has changed the main report from a plain list to a table of information. Secondly, they are using Markdown to style the park name records. In this case, they are adding a hyperlink to search for the park name online. Other Markdown styling can be used as desired. The document PDF Styler Transformer directly below sets properties for the page. This can include the page orientation, page size, headers and footers, and even a watermark. Notice that the page size option points to a user parameter. Now when the end user runs the workspace, they are prompted to choose the page size of the document being created. This technique could of course be used to dynamically select other styling options such as font, line spacing, or table borders. Be aware that page properties can be set mid-document, for example, to create a combination of landscape and portrait-oriented pages. The workspace creates a document title as before, but now the author has also added a page break between the title and the following data. Underneath this, the author is using ChatGPT to create an introduction for the report. The introduction is added as a plain paragraph of text and ordered to appear just before the table of data. Finally, the author has filled in the metadata fields in the writer parameters. They've also set the option to add page numbers to each page, starting on page two of the document. Let's see the output this now produces. Remember that the park name is a hyperlink, which by clicking, directs us to a Google search for the park. Here are some final points of information about this functionality. Headings automatically create entries in the PDF bookmark system, which can be used to navigate a PDF when viewed. Despite being released with FME 2025.1, the document PDF functionality is also compatible as far back as FME 2024.2. Another method to control the order of records inside an FME workspace is to right-click a creator and use the function set connection runtime order. I hope you found this video interesting and that you will enjoy the new functionality. 
Look out for other video demos for the 2025.1 release.